Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke. Since it's coming up to Halloween, I'm going to be doing a Halloween theme tutorial today and we're going to be using the Arduino IDE. If you haven't used the Arduino IDE before, make sure to go to docs.m5stack.com and enter the M5 core quick start. If you've got your libraries, board definitions, drivers, etc. already installed, we'll go ahead and go into the API. So Arduino API, and here we can see all of the commands in Arduino. So LCD, we're going to be making something on the screen of the LCD today. So at the start here, we can see all of the color definitions. So we're going to be using red, which looks more like an orange, and dark gray and black. Of course, these are predefined colors, but we can also use hex values. Now we scroll down, we can see many different commands relating to the LCD screen, but we're just going to look at a few that we're going to be using today. So first up, we have draw line, and then we have fill triangle and also fill ellipse I tried to use circles to begin with but they didn't quite work so well I feel like ellipse works much better for what I was going for so with the ellipse we can see x y value width and height and then color so let's open up Arduino okay here we are in Arduino and we need to include the M5 stack library with this line. Okay, now that's included. There are two things that we need to do to initialize the M5 stack. First one is we input the function M5 begin. Okay, and followed by M5 dot power begin. Okay, now we're going to start using the LCD commands. So all of those commands you see will be prefaced by LCD and dot and then the particular function. So for a fill screen, pretty simple. We just have uh, color as the argument. So we'll set our color to black. Okay, and I'm going to copy that m5.lcd because we're going to be using that a lot. Next up is set cursor. So set cursor x, y, this is where our text will start from on the screen. So I'm just going to enter the coordinates, move it down a little. And then next up we have m5.lcd.set text color. Does what it says on the can. So I'm going to be setting this to white. Okay, and now we'll set the text size. Anything between 0.5 and 20 is a sensible range. I'm going to set mine to 3. And finally, we will set the message with print F. And I'll enter my happy Halloween message. And if we run that, we can see the words appear on the screen. Okay, now on to the graphics part of my little tutorial. Now we're going to make the body or shape of the jack-o'-lantern. And I'm going to be using the fill ellipse command for this. So fill ellipse. And I'm just going to copy and paste a bunch of these because we're going to need a couple. And now we'll start to set the parameters of each of these ellipses. So I'm going to create a series of ellipses going from the left side of the screen, small to large, to the center of the pumpkin, and then heading back to small towards the right of the screen. So I'm just going to enter these coordinates that I've tested before, followed by the color. And uh, I'll speed this up a little bit. Don't be afraid to pause the video and you can use the same coordinates as mine. And we can see the result over here. 
the pumpkin starts to take shape. A rather bumpy pumpkin, but it'll do. Okay, now we've got the body of the pumpkin done, we'll move on to the face. So I'm going to be using triangles for the eyes with the fill triangle command. So I'll create three triangles for the eyes and the nose, and a third one for the stalk of the pumpkin. And again, I'll enter the values. So with the fill triangle, obviously we have uh, three points to the triangle. We have the left point, the right point, and the peak of the triangle. And I'll be using dark green for the color of the stork. And there we go. Should look something like this. And then finally for a nice smile on the pumpkin, I'll just use a simple draw line command. XY of the first point, XY of the ending point of the line, and then the color. Then last, we just need to update the LCD screen with the M5 update command, and we're good to go. Let's save this, and then upload it to the M5 stack, and we shall see the result. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, have a happy Halloween, and I'll be back soon with more Arduino tutorials. Make sure to check out the docs pages for the API of Arduino, leave a comment if you get stuck, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!